Let's see what happens. Hey guys, looking forward to this. Okay. You can join us. 24 sevens. Let's see what this is all about. In Cape Town, they don't so much roll out the red carpet. Oh yeah, let me go to the hotel. As seeing you through the front door. And everybody was like clinging and like singing for us. And dancing. Like, dancing so yeah, like... Is that you guys? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Arsh. Arsh, I'm very happy. This, in all its glory, is life on the HSBC World Rugby 7 Series. We actually arrived before, and then we went out and about, we bought shirts, and then when we came back, another team arrived, so we arrived with another team while dressed oh, and, and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's how it's true. Oh, oh, cool. Coolest they had that, oh, and oh, free food. And the food. The whole day. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> One. They're often running sort of three Ks in a game, and they're with some of the world's fastest and best athletes, so they've got to be able to keep up with that. Makes you realise how much shit these reps actually do. Last effort, last effort. Great work. That's me almost after every training session. It's me after the stairs. <laughs> Probably not as good as Shorty though. I know she runs a Bronco and the five minutes. Oh, one of the refs almost outran me. I remember thinking I had to run harder because I thought somebody was chasing me, but it was actually the ref. And I was like, wow, that was kind of impressive. <laughs> like you forget that like, you know, we're on the field and it like hurts like a lot. And I forget that like, they're pretty much doing the exact same thing we're doing. <laughs> yeah, that looks hard. <laughs> South Africa is famous for many things. It's rugby, it's wildlife, it's fans. Oh my God, running out of the crowd was so cool. <laughs> as soon as you ran out, like they had to open the doors and then all this thing kind of just came out of everywhere. Probably the biggest crowd ever though. Or uh, it was probably one of the bigger crowds I've played in. 55,000 in the terraces cheering them on, and one more in the tunnel giving them the final push. I heard a lot about Roscoe actually, that he's that person. Like, he makes a run here, and vibes up. Speckman on So Roscoe Speckman is a special person. Um, you know, he's, he's a guy who brings that energy. We've had a few guys, a few characters like Jean de Jong, and he always just shot his mentee, and I think that's one thing that Roscoe took forward. And what what it means is, is the the guys are yeah. Bruce was our energizer. Yeah, She's always just, yelling out. Having that joint tournament and having like the entire stadium like cheering for you and right. stuff like that it was super sweet. Watching you run out was so nice. It was exciting. First time I saw you run out first. Oh, first. First. Yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, oh. first. That's the most important one. <laughs> no. They're just proud. Cheerleaders, it appears, come in all shapes and sizes. And when you're playing the World Series champions, I guess it helps if you have a world champion of your own. Do you get like much interaction with, say, those boys? Like, I know Draco's there. It's but, uh, random. You'll like go into a lift or something and they'll just like pop up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Like, I was in Vancouver and turned around in the shop. Like, Brian Abana was standing behind me. <laughs> I was like, Hi, Brian. Green on the outside. Oh, the fend from Green is fabulous! Two players sit down on the couch. You can watch me go the distance. I think she broke the record for a certain amount of tries, yeah. For Ozzy Horn. They don't call it the Green Machine for no reason. Elliot Green, too good. What a moment in history for this Ozzy flyer. All time tries. One, two, nine. Man, it's so cool that she broke the try record for a country. Like, it's just such a, it's such a huge thing, especially how the women's game is like the skyrocketed over the last couple of years. So there's so many players who are just so incredible. And for her to break that record is just like, it's crazy. The green insane. machine. Wow. Insane. Yeah, she's, she's insane. insane. <laughs> like so good. She hit from green. Oh! Yep, there it is. <laughs> she's a beast. <laughs> Oh, I remember this. My nerves are going out. <laughs> <laughs> well, just the thought, like the, being in the tunnel before the like, final, yeah. it's so cool. Who's that? Tui Tui. Spread it on the outside. Ruby Tui. She's not scared of the staples and goes for the line. Ruby Tui, she's magic. We knew Australia weren't going to hand it to us on the plate. Uh, we had to fight really hard. We had to work, work together as one. And there were some brilliant displays of team work. Oh, oh, <laughs> Weird one in the finals. You have to walk out. Oh, there's no run out. So yeah, if that's your thing. Because you have to do land and all that? Yes. Stand up for the anthems, will we like? 
<laughs> Man alarm. <laughs> like, I just, it was so loud, but it was almost like muffled in my ear. Crowd was crazy, all the yeah, flags so, yeah, coming out. Anthem at home, pretty wild. This is gonna be bittersweet to watch. I might cry again. <laughs> Over for Baker. Baker looking to work McGarvey Black down this. Right hand side, Suzwap is there with a the tackle. Sage over the top, penalty New Zealand. Oh, this was the word. Are you getting dragged by your foot? <laughs> Maybe he thought it was the ball. <laughs> Whoa, I, no I was ready to throw myself over the balcony. <laughs> Jeez, you never really see this. Mm. It's over here. But see if we kind of push over. It, it blew off really quickly. Just a little bit of niggle, they're drawing the reaction from Ustazen. You know, we're all rugby players and I think, you know, the emotions are high and everyone wants to be successful and every now and then you're going to have to go head to head. There's always some peace at the end though, you guys always, you know, you don't hold a grudge, ever. I guess once the whistle finishes, sort of that's how it, that's how, that's how it ends. Obviously guys slip some bad blood every now and then, but okay, it's rugby, it's how it is. Like a yellow or red and seven charity is like it's a nightmare. Yeah, I guess kill two minutes is the longest two minutes of your life. I'd say. South Africa, Mugabe Black back against the grain and grabs the match leveler. Kick the come. It was so tight at the end. The end was the most nerve wracking part. So this to put New Zealand in front. It's good. Oh, I was a livid, yeah, I'll be honest. I was not happy. Oof, I was not happy. The part and see through your toys. I was throwing my toys on the inside. I was coming through my toys, you know, and I'll see. But on the inside, I was not happy. That was hard to watch. That was an emotional watch. Yeah. That's hard to watch. Because you know, you know the outcome. It's hard to watch. getting emotional all over again. Heartbroken losing at home like that? Yeah. It's so tough. Yeah, I guess. Um, but at the end, sh yeah. handshakes all around, no, no matter what happened on the That's pitch, fair. which is always good. So it's, good. it's good to see. Oh, the next one's going to be like. That was good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I am pumped for, for episode two. We'll watch together. I don't see why not. <laughs> I guess we live together, so. <laughs> Hopefully, episode three isn't as nerve wracking. Let's hope episode three is better for the South Africans. <laughs>